So the good thing about it is that you don't need any spatial road. You don't need like any spatial equipment. The only thing that's very important is that the the lines, the painting mm -hmm. on the road is good. If the painting is good, it works really well. And that's why it works even better by night because the contrast is better. I see. So basically you get the white lines that are lit by the, 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 the car. By the car. And it can understand even better at night. Yes. Okay. And the rest is dark, so you clearly see the other lights of the other cars, so it can detect that, and also the, the painting on the ground. And that's much more reliable by night. I think I'm going to turn left. And each time you brake, if I put my foot on the brake, it turns the system off, so I'm back to normal. So if you push the, f the, the brake, you then the brake. You, be you become the driver again. Uh, yes, you are the driver, yeah. like a normal uh, cruise control and stuff. Yeah. You were saying that this car has such a different design that basically the whole industry is um, uh, revolutionizing that you don't have the same parts inside the car that all the suppliers that you would have on a regular car have no place in this car for the most part. Yeah, that's the, that's the consequence. I mean, you have no um, traditional thermal engine, so mm -hmm. you don't have at all the spark plugs, you don't have the, the water circuit, you don't have the water pump, you don't have the oil no oil at all, so you don't need to change the oil, the oil change just disappear. So that's a revolution for the whole business of car maintenance, I mean basically yeah. you change the game. Uh, you know, you don't need first, it's electric, so that's something else. You don't need a gas station. No gas station, no oil change, uh, even the brakes, they are still traditional brakes, but because of the engine braking itself, the regular brakes, the pads, they, they, they survive a really long time. I mean, you can go for one million miles, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you don't use them a lot. Yeah. The, brake, the braking is mostly electromagnetic, just reversing you, the accelerator into a brake. Absolutely. Yeah. You reverse the engine yeah. and you charge back your battery. You get the energy back into the battery pack. Yeah. As opposed to is, making heat with the brakes and then destroying your pads. Absolutely. As a result. And losing that energy through heating. Uh, you just keep that energy and you put it back into the batteries. Yeah. That's smart. I mean, that's really smart. Yeah. It's easy. I mean, the concept is easy, but uh, they yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> and and uh, it could have happened so long ago, but we've had this car industry for decades and decades, not really changing. And then suddenly all these things are happening. So now we're back to the highway. So the carpool lanes are really good because the painting is always good on the carpool lanes. So then I go slow but we turn without touching anything. Okay, so now we are basically on the highway and Tony could be reading a Kindle, he could be reading a book, he could be uh, on the internet uh, looking at the lyrics of his favorite song. Which he does. Yeah, because you, you yeah. need to pay attention. See here, for example, good. <laughs> so the road, the road construction was the, was tricky, and that's an example. The road construction is not detected. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it did not detect the road construction. And these are these little orange, what are they called? Uh, cones. Cones, yeah. That uh, the, the sensors of the car did not detect. So as much as this is, uh, this is the future, and it's a hint into the future, you still have to be very attentive at what's happening on the road. Because every now and then you have to take the steering wheel back on. And once in a while, the car is going to ask you to touch the, the, the wheel. Yeah. But just just to touch it, uh, maybe it's, you know, it's, going, it's, it's going to happen uh, every few minutes. There is a sign that asks you to touch the wheel. You just touch it slightly. You don't turn it, just touch it. And that shows that you are you pay, you are paying attention, something like that. Yeah. I don't know how they detect it, 
but you, you just touch the wheel and it's back to automatic uh, driving. As much as the car business is on its head with all the components of the car, we were talking about the use cases of all the things you'll be able to do in the future. We may not own the cars anymore. There might be just instead of you know 100 cars parked in front of every house, unutilized, you might have just 10 cars uh, in a car kind of auto rental business that it just comes to you and then it becomes a taxi. Yes, the good thing about the autonomous car is that you, ju you just call it, it comes by itself, there's nobody driving. It's like a Uber if you want, but with no driver. And the car comes, you can pick the car you like, a small, a big, depending if you are alone or a family. It can be just an office with four wheels. And you call your office and you have uh, internet connection, whatever. Um, and then you sit in your car and, and it takes you where you need to go. And then it drops you and go away, pick another customer, basically. So it's no more a car, I mean, it's a logistics system. It's a huge transportation system. Yeah, it's a form of public transportation, but individualized. Right, yes. Yeah. And that's gonna, I'm, I'm convinced that's gonna solve a lot of the uh, traffic jam issues. Yeah. Because then you don't have, you have, I mean, I, you send the kids to, uh, to their, to the dojo, their local dojo for karate lessons. And you don't have to drive there and come back with your car. You just call a car, they sit in the car, the kids, whatever their age is, sit in the car, they go there and that's it. Yeah. You save the round trip and they come back the same way. Absolutely. Uh, and they can go everywhere they need to go. The cars will also know not to all use the same road. So maybe half the cars will go here and then the other half will go on alternate roads so that it never gets busy. The whole system adjusts right. itself. Right. Yeah. And they will go all of them at the same speed. So you don't have the stop and go all the time. I mean, if there is a, some traffic, they will adjust the speed so that everybody is going, is going slow but without stopping. Yes. You just go slow. The, you, you actually goes faster, it goes faster as a whole. Yes, yeah. globally it goes faster. Yeah. Um, if the system, I mean, today we have those traffic jams for many reasons, but most of the reasons are accidents that are going to disappear. Yeah. So if you get rid of that, that's a benefit. And then all the cars are going to drive safely at uh, as the best speed possible. Mm. And that should, should reuse the, and you save also a lot of uh, round trips that are useless top of that. So a lot of uh, ways to definitely reduce the, the traffic. And we've carried this whole conversation while you haven't touched really your steering wheel, you haven't accelerated, you haven't braked. Uh, it asked me to hold the steering wheel, so what I okay. do... Like so you this. just hold it, okay, for hold it. two seconds. I, I don't... And yeah, then the car is braking, it sees traffic. It's been turning, braking, accelerating while we were talking and you haven't had to do a thing uh, and manually. The, yeah. And we are in the traffic, so that's really relaxing. I mean, you are in the traffic, you don't have to pay attention. The car is going slowly, um, just managing the situation in the traffic. So that car is, is moving on the side, so we let it go and we, we keep going. Awesome. This completes our review. Uh, so, yeah. I go back manual. Yeah, we're back on manual just for the fun. Cheers. <laughs>